Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited for today's vlog because I am going Christmas shopping. We're gonna go to Harrods, Selfridges, John Lewis, Liberty, Fortnum & Mason, basically anywhere that's got a big old Christmas display, I'm gonna go check out. I'm just so excited to get into the Christmas spirit, maybe have a little hot chocolate. I'm feeling all types of cozy today. Obviously I'll show you my outfit. I need to finish it off actually with a trench coat. Fun fact, I finally learned how to hang a trench coat without the trench coat like falling onto the floor and getting like all dusty and stuff. My trench coats are very, very long. I'm six foot for reference. If I just hang them like that, then they will drag on the floor. I use two coat hangers. I hang it up normally at the top and then I thread it through another coat hanger, put it together and then like fold it in half and I could just slot it in. It's perfect. It's honestly an amazing way to hang your trench coats. One drink I've been absolutely loving at the moment is a peppermint white hot chocolate. So if you go into Starbucks, it's not actually on the menu. It's like a secret menu kind of thing. You ask for like a white hot chocolate and then you ask for three or four pumps of peppermint syrup when I tell you it is the most delicious satisfying unreal drink I have ever tasted if you like your sweet drinks if you like hot chocolate if you like peppermint oh you will absolutely love it do I go for my white polka dot Doc Martin bag or do I go for my black one because I feel like the black is a bit more classic. It might go with the outfit a bit better, but I also like how the white then like complements the white in the converse down here. Oh my God, I've never felt I was so flexible before. Look at me. Um, and also the white in the, in the shirt and the collar. You can never be too bold, but also I feel like the fit is quite minimal. I think I might go for the black bag. Let me know, ooh, let me know in the comments box, guys, whether you have any exciting plans coming up in November before December. December goes by so fast. So I like to fill my November with like lots of little exciting bits. There's never enough time in Christmas and December to like see people, to do everything you want, to go Christmas shopping, all while you're kind of doing your job and a nine to five and you're working. like. It flies by. Let me give you a little outfit of the day before I head out. So this is my outfit of the day. So I've got my vintage oversized Barney's uh, trench coat and then underneath, I've just got my weekday cozy knitwear jumper, a little white uh, shirt and then my Zara trousers, my black converse, my little Doc Martin bag. And then to finish off the look, which I've recently been uh, absolutely getting obsessed with, are little fishermen beanies. So I actually bought two from Zara the other day, this black one and this brown one. Laura, I'm just gonna pop it on top of me. <laughs> Laura says it makes me look like an acorn every single time I wear it. She's like, Jamie, you're giving acorn realness. And I think it's just because it looks like the top of an acorn. But I love this one because it says going slow can get you there faster. And I love that. Most of the time, I don't actually make an effort with my hair unless I either go into the office or I have a reason to do my hair. Today, because it's raining and because it's Sunday and it's hair wash day, my hair is very, very greasy. So I was like, bam, my fisherman beanie is going on. So I never used to be a fan of hats or beanies. I thought they made my features, like my nose. I was always so conscious of my nose growing up because it is quite big. I know it isn't big. This is the thing, I know it isn't big, but growing up, because the rest of me hadn't like grown as fast as my nose, my nose felt particularly big. I don't know if I've shared this story, but I wanted a nose job for a very, very long time, probably until I was like, 20, 21, and I really started to kind of like focus on myself, start to learn to love myself a little bit more. And now I'm just like, I'm here for it. Do you know what I mean? My nose is a wonderful feature and a part of me and I wouldn't change it for the world. Growing up, I obviously wanted to change everything about it and a beanie or a hat on my head just made it stand out and made me even more conscious of it. So the fact that now at 23 years old, I can finally confidently wear hats and I love them. It just shows me that how far I've come in my kind of like self-love, body confident journey. So I'm now in central London. I'm just off a street off Oxford Street because I've come into Pret. I have stuck with the festive theme and I've gone for an oat hot chocolate. Hello gorgeous, what are you doing here? How's it going for you? So I've gone for an oat praline hot chocolate, part of Pret's new festive menu, which I've been loving. And also, which I've never had before, a Christmas dinner in a sandwich. 
she go? Mm. I love cranberry jam, like cranberry core. This sandwich gets me so excited for Christmas dinner. It's probably one of my favorite parts about Christmas, like day. I'm not a big fan of presents. Like, I love giving presents. I don't really like receiving them, but I always love watching someone's reaction. But when it comes to me, I get really shy. And I'm like, no, 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 yeah. like, I, don't, I don't need anything. I kind of, for Christmas day, look forward to like, the, the food element of it, like having celebration tubs everywhere, yeah. cheese in the evening, the roast dinner, the bacon sandwiches in the morning. How cute! Are you the carrot or the turnip? Is this a turnip? Oh, parsnip. Yeah, because turnips. No, I feel like that is me. Yeah, broccoli is me. If I could have a posture like that carrot, I'd be a happy man. Oh, Miss Nutcracker is uh, stuck in the sand wedge. He's like, please don't eat me. I feel like this is the yo sushi of mince pies. Oh, I would have that in my house. A massive disco ball Christmas pudding. What else we got? They just keep going, guys. It's like a hamper. All I want for Christmas is panettone. Fun fact, I'm not a big fan of panettone. The fresh panettone at Morrison's when they made it fresh in the morning but the chocolate chip on. Ooh, with a bit of cream. No, I just ripped the top off and go in the middle. This is giving me like Beauty and the Beast, be our guest moment. Oh my goodness me. I have never seen anything so incredibly festive in my life. 2022, I really want to get a personalised ball ball this year. I'm loving these like gold star, star things which are poking out. My tree tends to be quite classic, but I really one day want a tree where I can just put all these like funky little ornaments on. Let me know in the comments guys whether you are a classic Christmas tree or a bit more like all these crazy ball balls. I love mayo. How much are these? Oh. She's 24 pounds, Laura. That's a year's worth of real mayo. <laughs> Peanut butter, another lovely favorite of mine as a little toast topping. There's something so special and nostalgic about beautiful, oh my God, it sings. Snow globes that I just love. New gold tree. <laughs> just something a just little. Just a little cupid. <laughs> just a little something to hide, uh, hide the gaps. <laughs> Oh, this Santa's a little bit cheeky with his little hot cocoa and, and uh, candy, cane. candy cane. He's like, wink, wink. <laughs> oh, look at this chandelier. Oh, I'm gonna swing <laughs> Oh, I love a nutcracker. Crack my nuts. I love these. One day I'd love to do my own little, for my kids, Yeah. their own little Christmas advent. Oh, look at this one, it's a little sleigh. Oh, look at this, it's a little London telephone box. That's cute. You can get personalized ball balls. They are so cute. Like either a little, little wrapped sweet. sweetie or a little crack. I actually don't have a stocking and I just I love when they're like personalized. Oh my gosh, a tote bag stocking. <gasps> Laura, they're 125 pounds. But I mean, oh, imagine rocking that down Oxford Street. Yes, I love that. I'm trying to look for this year, guys, like a few more statement and like sentimental ball balls. Because I've got all the standard ball balls, but it's just about like adding my kind of life and the fun back into the tree whilst keeping the theme. Laura, why do we need these? I love you, I love you. I like this one. I wonder whether anyone like puts anything in it. No, you don't really do. <laughs> We're just on our way down out of Selfridges. And look, oh my God, no, this is terrifying me. But look at all of that. Displays get bigger and better every year. I just love it. So we're now in John Lewis heading up to their Christmas shop. But on our way over, it started hammering it down with rain. So now Laura and I are absolutely soaked. So we're gonna head up to the Christmas shop and see what kind of Christmassy balls they have. Look at all the cute bears and the Christmas lights. They're playing um, old John Lewis Christmas ad music. What's your favorite John Lewis Christmas ad? That's a very hard question. My favorite is hands down the snowman where he delivers the scarf. Yeah. Melts my heart That's all the time. True. It's such a good Christmas out there. These are cute. These are very mm -hmm. white company. I even like these little presents. Yeah, they're cute art. I've they? never seen a present bulbul before. Or Santa on his sleigh down here. Ho, ho, ho. I love this snow globe. Do you think it spins? Oh my God, it spins. Yours. Wind her up. No, I don't think it spins. I think oh. that's for the chime. Do you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love these little Christmas tree decorations. I think it's so beautiful it with the little feathers and the gold. I love this stack of pancakes with the little strawberries on top. Avocado on toast. 
friendly avo lovers. Full English, a waffle. These are nice. Yeah, little wooden, little wooden ones. I am obsessed with these giant stars. Don't look effective on the tree. I love them. And do you know what? Mine is a seven and a half foot Christmas tree, so I reckon what, they'd look absolutely sun. fab, yeah, right? Yeah. The sunshine and blue skies is coming our way. It's just peeping through the clouds as we go into our third store, which is Liberty. I, fun fact, have actually never been into Liberty before, let alone oh. seen their Christmas oh, section. Like you're losing your Liberty virginity. I'm losing my Liberty virginity. I'm so excited. And obviously it's one of those like iconic stores. Like it's literally just off Regent Street. It just always looks so beautiful. So we just saw this book on our way to the Christmas shop. It's called Gender Swapped Fairy Tales. And I'm sorry, why do I need to buy this? I think this is absolutely brilliant. So you've got Handsome and the Beast, Cinder or the Little Glass Slipper, How to Tell a True Prince, Jacqueline and the Beanstalk, Gretel and Hansel, Mr. Rapunzel. Oh my god, that's so These good. are so good. Emma Bridgewater. I love these little mug Christmas decorations. I love that. I'm more of a star lover than an angel. In my tree, one's got a star, one's got an angel. Oh. I like a bit of both. Let me know in the comments, guys, whether you're a star topper or an angel topper, or whether you're a completely different topper yeah, people, or a no topper. Yeah. Oh, these are sweet. Like these little Easter eggs. eggs, yellow Easter eggs. Like, look at these. Oh, They're advent baubles. Love those. Is it on the first day of Christmas? My true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. She looks like a partridge. Yeah, two turtle doves. I love the, the 3D-ness. Mm. Just has a bit of texture, do you know what I mean? I really like this little one. It's like a little I Santa's grotto. I put it on tree, though. I put that on the side. Yeah, just like a nice little yeah. decor ornament. It's so pretty in here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the prettiest, my darling. <laughs> so we have just finished up in Liberty. Whilst we were walking around the Christmas shop, Laura and I decided to start a little best friend tradition where every single year we're now going to buy each other a bauble that's going to go with pride and place on our Christmas tree. We have bought each other baubles. We were either going to go tacky baubles yeah. or like classic pretty baubles. We decided to go for the latter. Yeah, because I think over the years mm. we'll be able to build up like a nice little Unless collection. this is a one year thing. Unless you think mine's tacky when actually I think it's really pretty. Oh my god, imagine. Yeah, this is the thing. Now We've never won't. bought each other baubles before. <laughs> By the way, um, for a bit of reference, my tree is gold. Law, what oh, colour? Imagine if you bought me like a red ball bowl. I'd have to hide it around the back. I'm like, sorry, no. And Laura's tree is silver, yeah. white, and green. Yeah. So fingers crossed she likes it. And obviously we had a budget. We couldn't go like absolutely unlimited. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, she's so It's like a clear so ball with like white little snow and like little pearls. Yeah, I love it. I thought she was really cute. I was yeah. debating between two, which I'll insert now. The other oh, one was really? like oh, glittery snowflake. Them. Yeah. Cute. I like that one. But I like that one because yeah. it was just like really simple. Yeah. I'm nervous. Right. It's like Christmas Day already. Oh. Do you get it? No. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I literally said this at the beginning of this vlog. Did you? I was talking about my hats and I was like, I put on my brown one and yeah. I said to the camera, I was like, Laura thinks I look like an acorn all the time in yeah. this cap. And Laura's only gone and got me. I mean, it's not an acorn, but... No, but I, I used to say it was a pine cone. You thought it was a pine cone. I got them mixed up. Yeah. Laura always thought it was a pine cone, and I had to keep being like, to Laura, it's an acorn, it's an not a pine cone. And she's bought me a gold, glittery... Pine cone. Which I she's love. She's cute. She is cute. The funny thing is, last year I bought gold pine cones from B&M. Right. But I ended up getting rid of them. Okay. Because they started, like, breaking apart and weren't very nice. So even though I loved them... Yeah, you couldn't... I uh, couldn't... They couldn't work on my tree. She's for life now. So now... I've got my very first one. So our next stop is Fortnum & Mason, another shop I actually haven't been in. These look absolutely oh, delicious. Look at these little Santas. Oh my goodness me. This is incredible. It feels like I'm in the Beauty and the Beast castle. Here we are. Look at the reeds and the trees. The little Jay. They're very expensive though, 26 quid. But they are beautiful. The little Dashens. Oh, the little bejeweled robin. I'm loving yeah. these teas. How beautiful. Good afternoon tea. 
the little, oh, the little afternoon tea tips. So many advent calendars with each day, you get a little record. Oh no, stop it, it's a little gramophone yeah. advent calendar. Look at this beautiful Christmas display. That is a decadent. Christmas ball ball if I ever did see one. It's only 15 pounds. I That's not too bad, bad, you know. Not yeah. considering how big it is. Look how beautiful these are. Oh, I love those. And our final Christmas destination, Harrods. Also, I've had to move to my phone camera because my um, actual camera is dead. So I'm hoping you can hear me all right and obviously it looks okay. Harrods Christmas. She's cute. The little Harrods gold bear. This little Big Ben is so cute. I absolutely love the annual Harrods Christmas bear. I think they're so cute. Especially this year with the little green starry cardigan. Yeah, 35 pounds. Oh, thank you, Laura. That was very like tele shopping vibes. Yeah. And here we have a Harrods bear. Give me <laughs> <laughs> that is so What is it? Oh, it's a little woolly hat. Aww. Me and you on a little ski. This is you reading your book. <laughs> <laughs> this is you sledging into my life. How beautiful are these? That is so pretty. This is my favourite tree, Law. Yeah. I love this tree. I always love it when they've got the baubles on display because it gives you an idea and some inspiration for how you can decorate your tree. So I'm now home and I decided to make myself a little lasagna, a little homemade lasagna. I say homemade, but I basically just put it all together. I don't make the pasta sheets or the sauce. So actually, is it homemade? I just like to call it homemade because obviously it's not shop bought. I've like put all the layers together, added all the cheese. Oh, it looks absolutely delicious. Um, if I'm completely honest, I ran out of pasta sheets. So half of it doesn't have pasta sheets on it, but I'm hoping it still tastes delicious. You might be wondering, why there is so much. So I'm actually going into the office over the next few days. I'm gonna spread it out across a few lunches and then it just saves me having to spend any money whilst I um, go into the office. Dinner is served. I'm currently sitting in bed. Um, I actually use my work from home tray table to sit in bed and eat my food. It's almost like something that my nan, whenever I used to go over to my nan's house, like she'd always have. I've got my lasagna. Honestly, it doesn't look very attractive like this and I've just squirted some mayo on the side but I promise you it'll be absolutely delicious. A little bit of bistro salad. What should I watch? Oh the Christmas wedding planner. This film I am absolutely obsessed with. The School for Good and Evil. I have watched it two three times literally in the past week that it's come out. I 100% recommend it. If you haven't seen The School for Good and Evil please please watch it. It's absolutely incredible. I think I'm gonna put on The Night Before Christmas. I think that sounds like a really good just like feel good, chill, Christmas movie. I love Vanessa Hudgens. Honestly, whenever she brings out a new Christmas film, I am just obsessed with it. I'm straight on it. I also fancy lighting a candle because I just feel like these cosy vibes, this cosy evening deserves a nice little burning candle. This is my little bedside candle. It's from Girl of Muse, which is Gemma Louise Miles's brand. And this is the Hello Autumn candle. I know that it's an autumn scent, but I absolutely love it. And also I didn't actually get round to lighting any candles this year until like the end of October so I feel like I am still trying to get through all of my like September, October autumnal candles now. I am going to end today's video now guys because I'm basically just going to enjoy the food and enjoy my movie. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and today's vlog. If you guys did enjoy it then don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more Jamie Dear content and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Mwah.